To multiply for this problem, we're going to use the distributive property. So we're going to distribute x squared y times the first, second, and third term. Let's start with the first. So that'll be x squared y times negative 2x. Then we have plus x squared y times 9y to the third. And then we have minus x squared y, and that minus came from the minus with the 7 over 4, times 7 over 4. Okay, so let's continue. So we're going to multiply and keep the base and add the exponents. So we're going to bring the negative 2 x coefficient to the front. And then we have x squared times x, add the exponents, that's x to the third. And then we have a y here, we don't have any other y's to multiply it with, so we're going to just rewrite it. Now for the second term, we've got x squared y times 9y to the third. Let's write the 9 coefficient first, then let's write our variables in alphabetical order. So let's start with the x. We don't have any other x terms, so we're going to bring down x squared. And then we have y times y to the third. Keep the base, add the exponents. So that's going to be y to the fourth, because we know that this y here has an exponent of 1. And then for the last term, all we need to do is bring that 7 over 4 coefficient in front of the variables. So it's going to be negative 7 over 4 and then rewrite the variables x squared y. So we don't have any like terms to combine further because even though all three terms have an x in them and a y in them, they have different exponents. So like the first term has an x to the third but the others have x to the second. Um, just like for the second one, they both have x to the second, but they have different y exponents. In order for them to combine with adding and subtracting, we have to have the same variables and the exact same exponents. So therefore, this is our final answer here.